for the weather from someone really queer. Fortunately, I can translate. Take it away, extra testicle. Tonight and tomorrow will remain fine with a little rain at times. Tonight and tomorrow will remain fine with a little rain at times. Southwest to southerly winds. Southwest to southerly winds. Locally fresh during the afternoon and evening. Locally fresh during the afternoon and evening. With a maximum of 21. A maximum of 21. On Wednesday, becoming fine with a maximum of 19. Wednesday, becoming fine with a maximum of 19. Then on Thursday, mostly fine with a maximum of 19. And then on Thursday, mostly fine with a maximum of 19. On Friday, mostly fine with a maximum of 22. On Friday, mostly fine with a maximum of 22. And the weekend, mainly fine and mild. And the weekend should be mainly fine and mild. Now it's back to school. Now it's back to school. <laughs> See, they get all floppy after a while. They do. Don't they? Just like old husbands. <laughs> Welcome back. It's segment three. This is Squeal on Bent TV. Uh, television for gay and queer, gay, uh, gays and boys, I was going to say. Boys and girls and those that want to have both. Or oh, uh, those that just want to have a bit of a looky-likey to see what it's like. <laughs> Who do you looky-likey? Who do you think you looky-likey? I'm Jean Asher, actually. <laughs> I don't know if the camera can pick this up. Without any further ado, let's introduce the bad boy of uh, Melbourne short film Dum himself. It's Dean Francis. Welcome, Dean. It's great to be here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, not only are you described as the bad boy of um, queer film here in Melbourne, mm -hmm. but you are, are also um, are you producer and director? That's right. Of uh, a new um, sitcom that That's is right. due to be released um, tonight. Tonight. Monday night, the 27th, um, on the internet. On the yeah. internet. Yeah, which is really cool. So, And that's a, it's a bit Stephen King, because you can only get his new novel on the internet. It's not being printed or... Well, look, everyone, book work, everyone's so. doing it nowadays. Yeah. So, you know, as soon as Bent TV gets off the air, people should go to their browsers and go to jjsplice.com.au and check it out. Absolutely. And it's the, <laughs> it's the first... It's the first episode which is being serialised. That's right. Um, for seven days, is that right? No, we, we're, we're over seven weeks. Over seven weeks, yeah. We've, well, we've I like got the description. What's this? Mum's a homicidal drug addict. Dad's a psychotic pervert. But Corey can save the world in half an hour. That's right. It's like my family. Yeah, no, because he's a sitcom yeah. kid, so Toby can save the world. <laughs> I can't even think straight. That's what it's called. Mm. Okay, so this is just something that you <laughs> birthed yourself. <laughs> yep, it it was it was born, uh, you know, right from here, right from me, and um, yeah, and I guess it, it was sort of based on my kind of uh, like family experiences, and I guess also growing up and watching uh, shows like Growing Pains in the eighties, mm. where like you know <laughs> Kurt everyone Cameron. was so strange. You didn't want to, but you had Squeaky. to. Oh no, I really enjoyed it. Oh, no, 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 addictive. I had to. Watch you could yeah, hear their cheeks yeah. rubbing together because they're so squeaky clean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so, it's just basically that and trying to make it a little bit more deranged. Cool. We like derangement. More normal, basically, nowadays, isn't it? That's right. Mm. Yes, the normality normal is, normal is more shocking than the absurd. Can it's you see right. people flapping? I can. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that means one thing and one thing only. It's footage <laughs> time. Keep going till his arm falls off. Yeah. Let's go to footage now, please, Mr. Director. Oh. <laughs> What the fuck are you doing what here? What are you gonna do about it? I told you to shut the fuck up! You fucking shut the fuck up! What the fuck are you fuck?
when you don't cut it. Juicy bits, they always cut the juicy bits. They do. And that was filmed on. On Super 8. Right, and that was a, a short Escape from the hell. short movie um, Escape from Hell. Yes, yes, yes. Which is part of the 10th annual Queer and Lesbian Video and Film for Film and Video Festival, which is currently filming at the moment. And when does that show? Done? That shows next Saturday um, uh, at 3:30 p.m. Uh, and that's on the 1st of April next Saturday right. as part of the Not Chicken session, which is the queer sort youth of, yeah, queer youth session that they've got happening. Cool. Mm. All right, and and you've also got a second. Sh is it sh another short film? Maybe? Yeah, um, called Disposia, Disposia which mm -hmm. is again quite different, not quite as controversial, um, and more of a sort of like uh, comedy sort of thing. It's actually about a, a transvestite who has trouble coming to terms with her role as and a father and uh, her alcoholism as well. <laughs> as a father, oh, her role yeah. alcoholic, a transvestite father. Not all. <laughs> not all. You are. I don't drink. No, I know. Really, I have you are an exception to the rule. There's only mm. a few of you. Footage, great. Yeah, it's going to be... It's the footage show! Yep. Let's go to some more footage. This is of D um, Disposia. Yep. Drinky poo and an encounter in for you. Did you miss me, sweetie? You know I did. I said that already. Now, don't be silly, Josephine. Oh. Now, look, seriously. Oh, we're going to get serious, are we? I want to get serious with you, but I want to get serious. Look, Josephine, just listen to me, all right? Mm -hmm. Now, you know that I have the utmost respect for you. And I think that you are a beautiful lady. But, uh, unfortunately... Oh, you're not going to say anything serious to me. You're not going to say anything serious. No, no, no. Unfortunately, Josephine... Don't look at me with that little green eyes. Unfortunately, Josephine, this relationship of ours... Don't say anything serious. This relationship of ours must come to an end. I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew that I did, but it's not going to be now, darling. It's not Josephine. going to be now. Josephine! Now, you just come back here, though. Oh, look, you're wrinkling my suit, Nothing right? Nothing wrong with a wrinkle suit. I'm going to take that suit off, I'm going to put it on there, I'm going to land over there and wrinkle it, darling. Now, look, Josephine, I need you to understand. <laughs> and that is from Disposia, which is... Um, it's, actually on when? Tonight, it's actually on that? tonight, yes, yeah. at 10 o'clock. So if there's time, head Straight down to up the media at Treasury <laughs> Theatre and check it out tonight. <laughs> Set the video to Ta tape the rest of Bed TV, which is illegal, but we let you do it, and go and check out Disposia. Absolutely. Absolutely. And will you be there so they can meet you afterwards? I sure will be, and I, in fact, I'm going to speak before the film. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. If, if I can get out of the studio. Oh, I'll to my show. You can borrow my limo, <laughs> sweetheart. <laughs> Thanks, darling. We've got that Scooter. helicopter there, out the back there. Yes, yes. Cool. All right, so both of those shorts are from um, the 10th Melbourne Queer and film, a queer film and video festival, which is uh, now running, um, and it started on the 23rd of March, um, which is last Thursday, and it's going through to the 2nd of April this year, and it's um, a great little cover and. Um, the um, trailer that we showed earlier in, in the show as well is just your, um, sensational. This actors year. from people within the gay community, or are they necessarily gay people acting the parts? Um, no, most of them aren't actually. Um, I just get actors who are right for the part, really, and mm -hmm. who are, you know, here on the project yeah. and who are going to suit it. Nathan mm -hmm. King was playing Josephine Mann, and he's someone who I've worked with a lot, and he's a stunning actor. Um, yeah. and, um, then how old are you? Um, young Such a young boy, yes, and so to be much out there doing it, it is. It's fabulous. It's what a good the role model. Those films was made in 1998. Yes. Yeah. So, two right. years ago, it was 18. I'm just going to bust in here now, Michael. Okay. Is that alright? Yes. And we're going to throw it to the news desk yes, for Reese. Okay, well, we've got some news. It's n not necessarily news, but uh, just as important. Okay, Bent TV, we need some volunteers. We need some new people around here. I'm tired of all the rest of the old bunch that are here now. So I'm going to give you some information on how to become a Bent Hold TV. Hold still. Hang on, I've got to work out which camera to point it to. Okay, we're looking for volunteers. You can ring us at Bent TV on 039 663 5902 or you can email us at squeal at qmail.com.au or you can write to us at squeal Care of Bent TV, P.O. Box, 224 Paran 3181. 
Okay, so we're not only desperate for volunteers, but also, look, sponsorship, if you want your name on television, and we do give everyone a bit of a good plug here at Vent TV, particularly on the Squill panel and the other shows as well that we do. Sponsorship, you can also call us on the number that I've given you before. Okay, we can, you call us on the number that we did before, 9663 5902. Uh, also, Ben TV has got some questionnaires that are, that are out and about town, so we do want your feedback. They're available at Cafe 151, Outlook Cafe, Bar 44, DT's Hotel, The Star Hotel, and The Laird Hotel. That's all from the news desk. Woo, okay. Yes, on your Warren and Derek. Mm. Thank you, Warren and Derek. Yeah, Outlook Cafe. All oh, right, okay. Friends of yours, are they? Yes. Free coffee for you. That's right. Okay, now, once again, we have... Um, Another forum. It's footage and forum. It's for, for, for tonight. And tonight we are talking about um, being gay in the workplace. And um, Tabitha. <laughs> yeah, what's like being gay to exchange, Tabitha? What could you say? Well, perhaps I could say. <laughs> Have you had any discrimination gay because you're gay? Perhaps I could say. <laughs> Thanks, I deliberately just did that. Perhaps... <laughs> Paul, perhaps I could say, you know, working at most gay venues throughout town, that I feel as the showgirls, as we continue to get more and more people, and a lot of people say that's not the fact queens have got anyway. Most of the queens that I know and speak to only come out to see the shows, and that's what gets the queens in them. So it does annoy me somewhat that we're now pushed onto little back room stages and thrown out the back into little corners to do shows and those budgets and things have gone from years gone by when they actually didn't even have the money then. Mm. So it's a bit annoying. Also, I must say, if you actually got a, a job during the day, it's not very common anymore, but if you've got people who are doing that whole faggot thing and being discriminatory and everything and being quite hideous, just when you get home, get a little exercise book together, do what I do, and write down what they said, who told you they said it, what time, just write everything down, and then six, seven, eight years down the track, you've probably got a probably good sized full exercise book, and if needs be, then ring up your Slater and Gordon and say, I've got a bit of a problem, can you give me a bit of a hand? Everything's documented, who told you, what time it was, and what they said. And then you've got your evidence if you need to take it any further. <laughs> I think that's very clever. Thank you, Alec mm. McSpiel. That's okay. <laughs> My mother told me to do that. Did she? She did. Write Sound everything advice. down. Yes. Here's sound advice. Michael, have you ever been discriminated against in the workplace? Um, for well, your, yes, your I was. Well, that is to say, like for a long time, for, I don't know, 10 years when I worked in sort of corporate job, um, I wasn't out anyway, so you kept the whole thing hidden and... and yeah, and it was all that old oh, poofters and that all sort of thing. But when I went to work at um, Freedom Furniture, completely different. I was out from day one, and they were, they were, I think because it's retail too. Yeah. But I mean, we're talking warehouse guys. Everyone was completely cool about it. So. Yeah. And I've had promotions and what have you, so they weren't discriminate. There was no ceiling there because I was gay. Because you were gay. Because of your sexuality. Dean, have you experienced it anywhere? Um, well, you know, I, I work at my own company, mm. JJ Splice, and, and we're a very queer-friendly company, let me tell you. Of course. And we have, um, we have a lot of, uh, lot of people working for us at the moment. And, um, yeah, there's no tension at JJ mm. Splice. Do you experience it in the, in the, in the realm, in the film realm? Um, I mean, once they think... Once someone finds out the theme it's of what gay. you're doing, do they do you then get a different reaction to your film? Well, no, because everyone's you know like read my publicity and they mm. go, oh, that's the bad boy of queer cinema, right. and we better watch yeah. out for him. So <laughs> <laughs> everyone's like, you know, an assumption right. of, as to how it's cool I am. It's a sense of humour too. <laughs> <laughs> You'd need to. We're getting a huge wind up. Huge no, wind up. No, no, huge no, wind up. No, We're going. Away. We're going. We've got to go, Tabitha. I'm sorry. Oh, all right. Thank you, oh, Dean, for thank coming you. And today. Just remember, jjsplice.com.au. I can't even think straight. Be there. Be there or be square. Come back Thank soon. You. Thank you. <laughs>